Why you sacrifice him with racism? I'm gonna kill you for <laughs> My erectile is not dysfunctional. <laughs> Let's use our president, for example. Are you over 10,000 kilometers away from South Africa? Conspiracy theorists. I can, I can open the door for you to join the Illuminati. <laughs> we make everyone. <laughs> Nipicast. Hey, how's it, guys? Uh, Nipicast Volume What is it? Twenty. <laughs> supposed to be twenty-two. I don't know if it counts because now um, the previous one was blocked. Um, literally still blocked by YouTube. <laughs> uh, the previous topic was um, was around social media. So the reason why they blocked it is because uh, part of the editorial on the on the actual clip, there's a part where I I, I put in um, videos of school kids fighting with the teachers in class in the classroom. Then oh, and they sent an email and like ah, we are blocking you. <laughs> I'm like okay, sure, it's fine. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, one guy we were talking about in that same podcast. His name is Donald Trump. He was blocked from Twitter. And he said he's going to go open his own Twitter. <laughs> now, <laughs> what? he has got money like water. Well, I'm not sure about if he still has money after the presidency, but he can open his own shit, you know. So a girl like me, as a Malambade, what am I going to go open the How? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, thanks to the new subscribers at least the the, the pages i mean uh, the, the subscription is growing uh, so nipicast today is coming live from somewhere else i'm supposed to say where i'm at yeah i'm somewhere here <laughs> in the middle <laughs> right in the middle of things cool so today the topic is um well this t- this topic is a bit weird but I'm gonna call it life. <clears throat> Let's call it life, actually. Yeah, the topic today is life, um, because the other time, if you check some of the videos, if you really follow this podcast, uh, there was a time when we were talking about uh, the origination of humanity, whereby we started at a level of the Big Bang theory and all those things. Where this, uh, I think it was on science and versus religion. I think yeah, I think it was on science versus religion that, that was the topic, but uh, life, uh, the beginning of it. So I always like starting my things in the beginning. In the beginning. <clears throat> in the beginning. In the beginning. Beginning. It's, it's beginning. In the in in the beginning. It's be- Okay. In in the beginning. In in. The- Um, we don't know the trigger of the existence of us as people how it started uh, we, we, we always going to argue the big bang theory and everybody's going to say ah, and, 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 and argue it right? but there's one thing that is common to every single living being in the entire world it's life either uh you're a living human who's breathing oxygen or either you are well it's not like now when i say either you are if you're a plant you obviously not gonna hear this because you don't have ears but a plant is also a living thing so every single thing that we have here on this planet that we feed off is something that is alive right which which also goes to that argument of vegetarians like yeah yeah you don't want to eat cow meat but you want to eat cow's grass <laughs> so you're gonna finish the, the veggies for the cow because you want to save it what do you do? <laughs> every single thing is alive if, if you're thinking you're a vegetarian or, or or you call them nowadays what's the term now they're using um uh, it's what 
Vegan. Is it vegan? Yeah. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> you got to finish the food for the animals. Because you're trying to <laughs> save the animal. And the animal needs to eat the thing. But you don't want to eat the actual meat because you are saving your 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 moral compass doesn't allow you to to, to do that because you're thinking you're, you're you're committing some sort of a crime. The time when you were given life at birth or when you were conceived, nine months before you came out into this world, the life that you were given, it already comes with pros and cons and, and and sacrifices and a lot of things. You know, somewhere somehow you need to live. You need to make a living as a as a human being, okay? so you need to feed off some sort of energy. Either that, or you're gonna die of hunger. If you check most of these vegan people, hey, aha! <laughs> Imagine if me, as skinny as I am, I become a vegan. I'll probably literally die from malnutrition. <laughs> it reminds me of. <laughs> uh, some other guy used to work with he used to okay he had a should I say it's sort of a, a different religion from uh, Christianity there's another religion they call Hare Krishna it's an Indian guy so <laughs> I asked him I mean this thing of of, of contamination of of, of, of of potatoes and the meat this both these things are being uh, cooked in the same uh, ca cafeteria, for example. Don't you think this contamination already happens in the in the in the truck that transports this thing before it was even branded halal, whatever that you call it? I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to to to, to 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 be condescending towards anybody's beliefs, but don't you think if there's an argument of contamination, <laughs> it would have happened in the truck, <laughs> like like on the road like this, and then the other truck is going like this, oh like. Is it this food is halal, this one is halal, and this one is in the truck is just content. <laughs> so I asked him that. He's like, no, you don't understand. Then, then they started saying, no, even the microwave should not be, uh, should not, uh, should not warm anything that is of anti-halal. So they had a halal microwave, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> halal microwave. It's so, it's so funny. They care about life to an extent where they are willing to contradict themselves. Because now, if, if, you, if you check, uh, they even try to imitate our food. So they will have sausages that look like meat, but it's not meat. They call it <laughs> vegetarian sausage. <laughs> like my man, why don't you just eat the grass just leave us alone eh? life in on, 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 on this planet was given to us by the, the person or let's not even call this person the higher power that created this designed this so well that uh, you, you, you whatever you have is what you should need to use because either that that or you're gonna die of hunger and I'm sure when you're dead, if you go to heaven or, or hell, and then you, you get asked by God or the devil to say, You died of after we even gave, put you on earth and gave you food. Right? <laughs> because now, it, which comes back to uh, the trigger of uh, this dialogue, because I was supposed to go do a recording today with Craig, but uh, it's a Monday. It's, of fatigued out for for the whole weekend so i think we'll, we'll record in the morning tomorrow but this one this is another episode that we're gonna run so because what i was trying to say is that life was put here for a reason and if you don't fully understand it you will struggle the entire time you know uh, uh, if you check even if you say the first people that lived this life Let's not even go to Adam and Eve now because I've seen people, when I say Adam and Eve, they're like, yeah, you're trying to argue Adam. No, no, okay, cool. Let's say the, the first um, uh, modern person, <laughs> the first modern person uh, was sitting maybe somewhere in a house or, or in a shack or whatever, wherever they were. Okay? 
then they got bitten by a mosquito like round about now which is happening to me now the mosquito's life relies on your blood <laughs> but you don't want it to milk you <laughs> like you trap it right it feeds off you <laughs> but you 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 you'll bump into people who are like oh, don't beat the mosquito up don't, don't i mean don't is it squashing don't squash it <laughs> like fuck it was milk my entire blood imagine if the size of the mosquito changes out of the out of, out of the blue and it becomes the size of a human being it will literally become a vampire <laughs> literally it will just just drain your blood the whole day imagine imagine if the life of a tick could, could be dependent on 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 on, on any living thing like a, a cow or even a human sometimes there are ticks that can trap you you wouldn't know you can just sit here behind the ear until the one to be like yeah, man, have it too. especially if, 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 if you if if you spend a lot of time maybe at the farms there's all this, those ticks depending on how you take off your animals so imagine if the size of a tick was the size of a human being its life would be dependent on what it was gonna milk your entire fucking blood to make sure that it milks Okay, let's be serious. Let's be serious. So, <laughs> the life of the mosquito is dependent on the life of us, our blood, right? I don't remember exactly which one is which, but between the two mosquitoes, there's uh, there's one that doesn't rely on our blood, but I think it's a female one that only bites us. The male one doesn't bite. Some of there, I, I, I we can do the proper research, but you can look it up. I don't remember exactly which one is which. So, it's mosquitoes' life relies on our life, right? Our life relies on whose life? On, on 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 feeding off some some food, right? So, but now, if you check, most of the time, when uh, you evolve as as people, there's something that we call like a, some sort of a mutation. So, a mutation would mean that, for example, if we just came out of COVID now. Our bodies have now mutated to be almost COVID free, like proper. You know, all of us, sorry for those ones who, 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 who passed on and everybody uh, uh, who we lost and all those. Uh, it was an, an unfortunate era. It was, a, it was a fucked up pandemic. But uh, all of us who are left now, our bodies have mutated enough to deal with this thing. It has created enough antibodies and all those. I don't want to go into the gory details of, of, of medication of this, or not even medication of your how your body and how your life takes care of you, uh, because life is so sophisticated to an extent whereby you don't even know. Uh, sometimes that your body decides on its own without your permission. Yes, without your permission. Um, <clears throat> like a blink of an eye there are times when your eye blinks without your control because your body just knows that something might go might go into the eye and then, and then it blinks you, 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 you don't even have time to decide if you're going to blink or not the eye decides on its own that hey you know so, uh, so the, 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 the life that you have been given by by your god whoever god you believe in has has, has 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 designed itself in a way that it will protect itself so it will mutate uh, a simple thing where i'm sitting now i was actually talking to um i made a shop here it's a restaurant uh, so i was talking to a waitress to say hey man I, there's a lot of flies here then she brought uh, uh what's this those repellents those ones where you switch or what you call that candles <laughs> I laughed so hard when I saw those flies playing on top of those, on top of that container. Well, I mean, that <laughs> what brand was that? But you know those repellents of, of like a candle. So I was laughing. They were playing around it. I'm like, what the fuck? It means that the life of the fly has mutated to an extent where it has protected itself from any poison that you have designed for for it to kill it or to make it run away. So now it's no longer scared anymore <laughs> of this thing. It, it knows its shit on, on proper. The other day, I mean, look, let's use another maybe different example. Let's use rats. 
obviously the popular part of rats in South Africa would work. Should I say? <laughs> okay, Alexander and what? Okay. Alexander and what? Let's use as well. So, <clears throat> okay, well, I'm not saying there's no rats everywhere else in the world, but I'm saying for the popular ones. It reaches a point where those rats have mutated to an extent whereby even your red text is a small boy <laughs> for it. It, they've made it to an extent where it's like your friends, like, hey, you, you wake up and say, it, it, it has mutated. The life of a rat has now been smarter than the previous rat life, uh, where you think red text will kill it. Now it's not dying from those things. For it is probably like a snack. Uh, it's like, uh, it's just like more. It's a meal. You're just feeding it. <laughs> It has mutated that much because uh, I think apparently, according to our history of the world, uh, even before a human being started living here on this planet, there was an era of dinosaurs. And well, well, the theory is that the the, the meteorite le- uh, hit here by the Gulf of Mexico and it killed every single it killed every single life on on this planet. Do you know who survived? <laughs> Apparently, there's two things, not even two. Like, okay, well, the, 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 the animals in the ocean, obviously, yeah, that one, uh, we can't really say they survived. They were safe. But any single living thing that was on any continent after that, <laughs> that meteorite hit the planet, everything had to die. <laughs> Do you know what survived? And it mutated to become another species. Cockroaches and uh, rats. These two guys, cockroaches and rats, are literally almost in every single household if you don't take care of, 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 of your house properly in terms of managing it. You know, So they are there. Those two those two things are probably the man's best friend after the dog. <laughs> you know? So they've taught, their, they've, I mean, they've taught themselves that uh, or they've mutated to an extent whereby their life is almost uh, to the infinity. They are like, you can't touch this <laughs> type of vibe. The other that, uh, if uh, maybe if we reach a part where there's a world war Three, which is now you can see people are about to bomb each other here with nuclear bombs and shit. If if we all bomb each other, rats and cockroaches will remain <laughs> being alive. Their life is older than our life, you know. So the mutation of it is so funny. It's just that you you wouldn't pick it up because you don't live to tell the story the whole time and and to study the mutation of every single living thing. In, 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 in this planet because now um, the question is what would you do what value does it add to have a fly mosquito a rat a cockroach and useless things like snakes like why do we what, what, what is the value add there? In terms of our lives, okay, well, we know some people feed off those. Some of them eat. It depends what you believe in eating. So we know very well that some some, some people feed off. Like uh, in Venda, there's uh, something called Tongoriba. Tongoriba is the generation of cockroaches. It smells so bad. But our life at some stage, Savangova, Venda, and Engage was dependent, dependent on it. <laughs> It was a meal. It was a some sort of a source of survival type of vibe, you know. So life is very, 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 very uh, catchy, you know, because um, when we spoke the last time, we did uh, the one of uh, the future, where I I, I said. What is the future? If you watch that episode of the Nipicast, I forgot what, what number it was. I think it was Nipicast 18, 19, somewhere there. But it was a, a month ago. And I said, what, what, what is the future? And what is the past? 
and then we, we, we went around it and whatever and you all made your own decisions on what it is but all I can tell you is that the life that was put here was special because you don't know when you're going to lose it you don't know and you didn't even know that you were going to generate it you know so yeah in a nutshell uh, what am I forgetting there's something there's a point that I'm forgetting about life oh well when you lose your close friends um, for whatever reason or, or not friends alone family uh, whichever way it doesn't matter how people would live the, this life that we're living I mean leave at next like exits uh, eh? right context not leave like leave leave not like exit how we're gonna leave this life we don't know nobody knows uh, and nobody chooses so I don't know if you chose life or if life chose you this was an epic cast, uh, episode or whatever that I keep forgetting I think it's 22 this one uh, the topic was life uh, I'm still blocked on YouTube I think this one will probably go in maybe in the next couple of days uh, the life of YouTube is determining how the, the life of this nippy cast would exist uh, thank you for watching this was a short one the topic was life now round why are you sacrificing with the basis <laughs> my erectile is not dysfunctional <laughs> let's use our president for example are you over 10,000 kilometers away from south africa conspiracy theorists i can i can open the door for you to join the illuminati good evening everyone <laughs> Maybe